Well, guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, this right here, Is any the last piece of rag worth? <laughs> it's all gone! Yep, that's right. It has completely and utterly gone. I can't believe it myself, to be honest. There was a time where we were so tired and, yeah, genuinely didn't think we were going to be able to get it all out. <sighs> but we've done it feels like the most mammoth task we've ever ever taken on and ever well got through thank you for following us this far and putting up with all the boring ragwort videos oh my word but yeah it was all so worth it and what we did all the way through these final days of getting it out was we just kept sending the drone up. So I've got some footage of us getting the ragwa type, but I know that you're gonna be bored of that boy now. I know that I am. So instead we sent the drone up at least twice through each day, one at the beginning, one at the end of each day, and captured what the field looked like. So have a look at this footage. You'll see how we did it. It was backbreaking, I'm not going to lie. I've also made a full, very informative video all about ragwort, about its properties, why it's so poisonous. And yeah, it's really educational and it really does explain exactly how you can get rid of this stuff and defeat it. Because let's face it, it's like a fight. It's awful. So I'll link that at the end of this video, so check that out if you haven't already. Bruce are ready to do some more rag working. I've discovered that if you wear a sweatband and you've got one of these, it doesn't sting your eyes. We also can't believe that we've now got how many? 1,300 subscribers. 1,300 subscribers. I don't know how that's happened. But thank you to each and every single one of you. Thank you. That is just amazing. If you haven't already subscribed, then it's completely free. Just subscribe and you'll get to see our crazy videos. You just all have to log time. in on YouTube first. Yeah, you do have to log in on YouTube first. Now, for that lovely friends that helped us in our Ragword Army video, I've got them a little present to say thank you. What better present to get the Ragword Army than their own Ragword flower? <laughs> also, the wonderful Dawn looked after our horses while we we're on holiday, so we've got her this to say thank you. I think that's right up Dawn Street. 
Hopefully they'll all really like them. Also, I did a fabulous video of us when we were on holiday, but because it doesn't really fit in with the channel, I've put it on a members only YouTube playlist. Um, I think it's like 4 99 or something to join the members only. I'm going to put some more content on there because I do have little videos now and again that I make and then don't upload because I think, oh, it's not quite, you know, it's more personal or whatever. So I'm going to be adding some more videos to that. If you'd like to become a member and help us out with um, doing this place up, getting some more hay, anything that we might need, even buying posts, because I know we've got to buy at least 100 posts to put in the new track system, then join be a member and it's a way to help us and a way for us to give something back to you We have absolutely no idea what they are, so if you know what they are, please let us know. I think, I think they might be little baby field mice. They've got quite a bit of fur on them and they do walk as well, so I'm just hoping they'll be all right, being as we've disturbed their nest. I feel a bit terrible now, actually. So we found a little nest and there's actually, I don't know if you can see, but there's three little babies in there. They're all fine. We've um, moved them back to where the area was that we found them. And they're quite squeaky. So um, hopefully the mum and dad will come and find them. It's the next day and I thought I'd give you a little update on the little baby, I don't know what they were, were they mice? Um, yeah, so we're back on it today, ragworting again, as forever, seems at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're really tired. I'm completely overwhelmed and done with this, to be honest. But I thought it'd be nice to have a look, see if the babies are okay, if they're still alive. And, well, this is the update. This is where we put them yesterday and I've given it a good check and they're gone. Completely gone out of their nest. So all I can hope, there's like a little, I don't know if you can see, but like a little burrow hole there. I've had a good look all the way around and I think, that the um, the mother must have come back for them and taken them. I've had a good look around, see if I can see them, and I can't, can't see them anywhere, but they've definitely burrowed out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that the mother found them, came back for them. They were very loud. So uh, yeah, hopefully, and it does look like that they've burrowed out that way, so hopefully. That's what's happened.
what did you think of that then? Oh, yes, feels so amazing to be in this field rag work free. I've still got the florets to get rid of, so that's going to be my next job. But you know, it's doable, it's doable now. The, you know, main threat has gone. I've just got to get this year's rag work florets out, but that's not going to be a problem. And I'm also going to fill the holes, which I'll show you probably in my next vlog, with grass seed because filling with grass seed stifles the ragwort seeds. So it's actually a really good and also like an economical way to get rid of it. Helps your horses too because they'll have extra grass. Yeah, amazing. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel so that you can watch all of our videos. It's completely free, it's free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see in the back there, but we've been joined with some cows and I've got some cow footage of baby cows because there's baby cows next door at the minute. So yeah, enjoy that. And uh, I'll see you in the next vlog.